Yeah, so people have been getting in contact with their, as you say, memories of the storm. So I just thought I'd share a couple of them with you. Uh, so David Johnson's been in contact and he sent me an amazing photo here. This is uh, in Holmeswood before the storm. We've got another one uh, a bit after the storm, just incredible. And he sent me his uh, diary entry from that morning. So 16th of October, 1987, he says, devastation everywhere. All our lovely walks are gone. Woods are destroyed, beautiful trees down everywhere. No electric tro uh, phones or trains, everything has stopped. Never seen anything like it before. He says, the boats in the harbour, many are wrecked and Brighton is cut off completely. And we've also had uh, Simon Potter get in contact from the Jack and Jill Windmill Society. And he, uh, and I've got a photo here of Jill Windmill, who he describes as a lucky survivor of the storm. And he says, at 2 a.m. I received a phone call advising that Jill Windmill was on fire. The winds were turning the sweeps while the brake was still on. The resulting friction started a fire and myself and three others climbed up the South Downs at the peak of the storm and after three hours managed to put out the fire. But it took 18 months to put right the fire damage. Extraordinary. And you'd like more viewers' pictures? I would love to hear more viewers' stories and yes, see their pictures from, from the storm. That'd be wonderful. OK, lovely. Holly, thank you very much indeed. Let's now get the forecast this evening from Holly. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. So some interesting developments in our weather over the next few days. Today has been nice and straightforward, though good spells of sunshine. Thanks to Ken for this lovely shot of Hungerford. Now, over the coming days, you've got warmer air pushing in, but it's also higher humidity air. That means more cloud around at times, though we should still see some sunshine and perhaps the best of that on Sunday. And when you do get the sunshine, it will feel quite warm, especially for the time of year. Now, this is an additional complication. This is Hurricane Ophelia developing in the Atlantic, and this is taking an unusual track pushing towards west parts of the UK. Now obviously by the time it gets close to us it will no longer be a hurricane but it will still be a powerful storm. The worst of the weather does look to affect western parts but we could still see for example gales later on in the day but equally it pushes up some quite warm air across us so temperatures could continue to push upwards but offset obviously by the strength of that wind. We will be uh, keeping a watch on it as we get a bit closer so do stay tuned. Through tonight then it clear spells initially the risk of some mist and fog patches and then more low cloud tends to roll in as the night goes on. Temperature wise, generally double figures on the cards, 11, 12 degrees maybe, but I think locally down in single digits if you get enough for clear spells. For tomorrow then, a bit of a grey start, perhaps quite a murky start for some of us. Hopefully some spells of sunshine coming through, but more of a breeze around than today. Now the air itself is that bit warmer, so temperatures will get that little bit higher, but obviously offset by that slightly stronger breeze. These are our times of high water, Portsmouth 6.13 in the morning and 6.41 in the evening. And we've got that warm air continuing to push across us into the weekend, perhaps quite a grey start on Saturday, hopefully brightening through the day, and maybe the best of the sunshine on Sunday. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. So looking lovely on Sunday. Now in just a moment, the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. I shall have our late news, so join me if you possibly can. But for now, from the team here at ITV Meridian, thank you very much indeed for watching. Take care and see you again very soon. From all of us here, good night. Bye-bye.